some real talk now about Donald Trump. It seems he keeps rising in the polls no matter what he says. Trump pushing three points higher now to 27 percent in the latest national poll, Quinnipiac. With a tight scramble now for second. Look at that. Marco Rubio second now at 17 percent. Ben Carson sliding to third, tied with Cruz, 16 percent. So do Donald Trump's comments like this, do they help or hurt him? When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. They, they care about their lives. Don't kid yourself. Mr. But they Trump. say they don't care about their lives. You have to take out their families. Take out their entire families. Chris Plant is a syndicated radio talk show host. Leslie Marshall, Fox News contributor, syndicated radio talk show host. Chris, uh, do you agree with Trump that we should take out their entire families? You know, when I heard that today, I know what he means. But in reality, that would mean maybe taking out innocent kids in the family, extended family potentially, that don't know that their parents are terrorists. Well, it's very old school to be sure, You're very Sicilian, I, I suppose. But what he's talking about and the issue that he's raised here again, and once again, he's going to win this point in the long term, our rules of engagement prevent us from dropping bombs on, let's say, al-Baghdadi, the, the head of al-Qaeda, if his family is around him. They know our rules of engagement. They keep their families around them so we don't bomb them. That's insane. That is suicidally polite. Mm -hmm. And eventually we will make the decision that even though they use their own families as human shields, that we're going to have to drop the bomb rather than returning to base with the bomb still on the wing. Okay, Leslie, does Chris have a point as he explains what he believes Donald Trump meant? No, try explaining that. And, and my mom's Sicilian, Chris. She'll call you later. Uh, but with jihadi, with jihadi, jihadi John, jihadi John was, um, if in fact he is, we're still not 100 uh, percent confirmed that he is dead. Jihadi John was actually going to another part. Um, of his caliphate, if you will, to visit his alleged wife and child when uh, he, we had drone attacks, several of them, on the car that he was in, separate from the building they were in. We do right. have, with the rules of engagement currently, that we are not that we are trying to be careful of the civilians around them. That does not mean that these are family of terrorists. Remember, there are uh. people in this caliphate that are not related to the terrorists, and some of them that are there because they're fearful of leaving, okay. or they're there, quite frankly, by force, so have no means to leave. Well, uh, I see no. both sides of this issue. Okay, let's look deeper into this poll. It's so fascinating. Are, is your mind made up who you're going to vote for? 32% say, yep, it is. But might you change? This is just GOP now. 65% Chris say they might change their mind. Is that good news for the candidates not on top right now? Well, I, I, clearly it is. And look, we're still very early on in the process. All we've had so far is polling by polling companies and news media organizations. We haven't cast the first vote in the first caucus or the first primary. And the process really is, uh, while it's underway on, on some level, really hasn't begun. So naturally, people uh, have to keep an open mind, I think, and, and be prepared to sort of jump from raft to raft. We're going to end up with only one candidate. Yeah. So, And who knows? Who knows when we'll know that final answer? It could be months yeah. away. OK, in the meantime, Senator Ted Cruz claiming most violent criminals are Democrats. New Jersey <laughs> Governor Chris Christie reacting to that earlier today. <laughs> you saw Ted Cruz there. The overwhelming majority of violent criminals are Democrats. You're a former prosecutor. What'd you make of that? Yeah, I, I, I had never noticed that in my, uh, in my background experience. All right, so the Washington <laughs> Post gave Ted Cruz's comments for Pinocchios, oh, uh, saying please. it's certainly an undeniable <laughs> fact that a huge percentage of African Americans vote for Democrats, just as white males tend to favor Republicans, but Cruz wildly off base. Leslie. Wow. Well, the, the study in my research that Cruz's campaign used was a study of X convicts in three states years ago that at the time had largely registered as Democrats. However, there was a follow-up study <laughs> done in not just those three states that they expanded. And quite frankly, Gretchen, they don't register as either. Uh, so the accuracy of that state would, would not include all felons, would not include violent felons. It, at the time, would okay. be that study of those three states and ex-convicts. So Chris was giving states. us his opinion through your statement, Leslie, <laughs> by laughing. I, I got to hear what you got to say, Chris. <laughs> You know, uh, look, uh, honestly, this is, uh, this is laughably obvious. And leave it to the Washington Post to racialize it. Uh, that's exactly what, I, what I'd expect from them. Look, the, the Democrats are involved in an active state-by-state -state and national effort to restore the vote for convicted felons. 
Why do you think that is? You know, the Democrats know the score here. They're not trying to get more Republicans registered to vote. Now, uh, obviously, let's go take a survey in any prison anywhere. I'll, I'll put money on it right now, okay. Leslie. How about it? Uh, you know, the Democrats aren't trying to, to restore the vote to convicted felons because they're convinced that the lion's share okay. of them are Republicans. Okay. Uh, Chris and Leslie, <laughs> thanks much. See you next week. Thanks, Gretchen.